Saturday, 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 Saturday. You know the rest. It's Saturday, the best day of the week. Um, but unfortunately mine has not started very well. Last night my Mac charger died. And for anybody who is obsessed with their computer like I am, it's like your smallest child has passed away. I mean, it's been looking sorry for itself for a long time now. It's sellotaped up and it was always gonna happen. But last night it started to smoke <laughs> and spark and turned brown. And basically I was fearing for my life that I was gonna be burned alive in my bed last night. So I somehow managed to get through my shift for work this morning. I just worked from home um, and used a very, very dangerous laptop charger. Sorry, mum, if you're watching, but now I must admit defeat and admit that it is time for me to go to the Apple store and buy a new one. So that's not the best start to the week, seeing as that's £65 that I hadn't really budgeted for to be spending this weekend. Um, so I'm officially poor for the rest of this week. It's so annoying when something like that happens and it's not necessarily something that you thought you were going to have to be forking out a load of money for. And then all of a sudden you have considerably less funds than you thought you were going to have for the weekend. Anyway, it's one of those things, so... Next up on my list today is Stratford, the Westfield Shopping Centre. Haven't been for ages since I was at uni, I don't think, so quite looking forward to it. And if I happen to stumble into Primark or Topshop, these things happen. If I was a good YouTuber, I would be taking you with me, but we all know that I'm not. So I'm going to leave you here and then I'll report back later. I would take you with me, don't take it personally, but I'm just... I'm not about that public vlogging life. It's too embarrassing. So I'm gonna brush my teeth, I'm gonna pack my bag, and then I'm gonna go. Just gonna chuck some stuff in a bag. This is my backpack from Primark, which I think was in a Primark haul ages ago. It's dead cute. Um, so what do I need? Purse would be great. Uh, coin purse, because I'm an old granny. Uh, diary and a pen, because always. Some headphones would be good. What else do I need? Mer not sure where my oyster card is which is slightly worrying is it in this coat pocket if it's not then i have officially lost it oh found my kindle that's in my pocket <laughs> i might take that with me too actually i'm reading the bell jar at the moment and really enjoying it i've never read it before which i think is a crime for a young woman so i'm getting that off my list at the moment oyster card found it and i might actually wear this coat today it's my fave denim one that will mean i wear a triple denim though is this an issue Probably, but who cares? Right, Oyster card, you're done. Is that everything? Keys. Might help if I could get back into my own home later. And I don't need a snack because I had an excellent bacon and avocado sandwich this morning. So, I think we're good to go. So this triple denim is happening. Um, fairly sure this is a crime in the majority of the world, but I'm going on my own and I don't think I'm gonna meet the love of my life in Stratford Westfield. So, who cares? Let's go! Well, I've sorted my charger out. That's all done. I've no idea if you're going to be able to hear me. But I seem to have stumbled into Topshop. So now I'm going to try all these lovely things on and see if there's anything that I actually like. I have a feeling I'm going to hate it all. It's going to put me in a really vile mood, which is what tends to happen when I come clothes shopping. Everything in here is just designed for people a third of my size. like. Nothing in here is going to look good on me. I've got a dress, some dungarees, some jumpers, and a leather gilet, which I've wanted for so long, but it's quite expensive. But um, today I'm feeling kind of like money is not a real thing. So um, I'm going to try these on, and if there's anything good that doesn't look totally gross, I will show you. As predicted, that was a massive fail. I hated the majority of it, and now I feel really rubbish. So I'm gonna go elsewhere, choose a shop that caters to anyone over a size zero. This, I love, it's totally badass, but um, it's not oversized enough. Like I want it to be quite sort of massive and like a biker fit, but it's quite fitted. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. It's 48 pounds, which I think is quite a lot unless I'm totally in love with it. So I'm gonna leave it for now. This is amazing, I want this. I'm also gonna get two jumpers and the dungarees just, they're not flattering on this part of me. 
which is not my favourite part so I'm going to leave them for now as well and I think I might wander up to Forever 21 and see if they've got anything for me. I mean it's unlikely but you never know. I'm home, thank goodness. That was a very stressful shopping trip. I'd forgotten how horrible Westfield is actually. I used to work there when I was a student. Worked in the top shop on the shoe department. It was like quite a fun job and stuff but I'd forgotten how hideously crazy busy it gets in there. And it reminded me like how bad working in retail is. Like I don't miss it in the slightest. So I worked in retail like quite a lot of years when I was growing up. And like I'd forgotten how horrible it is to like just be in that like Saturday afternoon rush atmosphere like so stressful so if you are a retail person that works in like a big shop like top shop or something that's always busy take my invisible hat off to you sir you are amazing shiny new charger alert 65 pounds later honestly Apple what are you trying to do to me Oh well, at least that's like good and reliable and not gonna go on fire. <laughs> Popped into M&S on my way home as well and bought a bag full of food. I only went in for a bottle of water but M&S food is just like music to my ears. So I bought a couple of bits, I thought I'd show you what I picked up because people do this on vloggy vlog, don't they? It's not a full food shop, it's only a few little bits and bobs. We do our full food shop like usually on a Sunday afternoon, my housemate Tyler has a car which is really handy but I picked up a few bits and bobs just to like keep me going. So I'll show you what I got. But I got some turkey breast because it's cheaper than chicken. These were a bit naughty. I really shouldn't have bought these, but I went in hungry, so I bought all the food. Uh, these are just chicken bites. I'll probably eat them when I'm hungover one day. These are chicken and mushroom crisp bakes. They looked delicious. I thought perhaps with some kind of sauce and some veg, they'd be great. They're also wheat and gluten free, which I thought was quite handy for people to know. Like it doesn't bother me. Uh, it probably should bother me, but it doesn't. But um, if you're wheat and gluten free, you can have these. They were two for three pounds with like loads of other stuff. So I also picked up some salmon fillet fish cakes because I love me some fish cakes. I also got a broccoli and some courgettes and some sweet potatoes. This isn't very exciting, but I would also recommend this. Chunky vegetable and bean chili soup. It's not like a soup, it's like an actual chili. Um, but it saves you the effort of having to actually make a chilli. So I picked up two of those, they're like 90p or something, so they're a dead cheap dinner if you just use like, do some sweet potato wedges with it or something. Easy peasy. And that's all, I also got some stuff in Topshop, but I think I'm going to include that in some kind of clothing haul at some stage, because I've bought a few bits recently. So I will show you them another time. But other than that, I'm kind of signing off for today. I'm pretty tired to be honest. I got up about quarter to nine this morning to do my early shift for work um, and then working on a Saturday just kind of makes me not want to do anything because it's not really a proper day off. I've got a big night out planned next Saturday night with Kate, looking forward to that in a big, big way. So I think tonight is just going to be all about the chill. Last weekend I worked my way through season one of American Horror Story, I've already seen it but I did a feature for work the other day about it and it made me really want to watch it again. So I watched season one last weekend, I'm going to start season two tonight I think. Season two is well scary, I started it about this time last year and um, there was a lot of crap going on so I sort of like put it to one side um, but I did really enjoy it so I'm going to start it again tonight I didn't like season 3 that much and gave up on that one quite early so I'll give that one a go too when I finish this one and I'm already scared to watch season 4 and 5 because I know they're supposed to be the scariest ones but I do really love American Horror Story and other than that, might go to the pub if I can be bothered mm, probably not so I hope you guys have a great weekend if I can I'll put this up tonight, if not some other time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these, let me know because I don't really know what I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed looking at my fish cakes and so that's all. Goodbye. <laughs> so awkward, God.